Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to talk about a, a tool that we use here at the shop quite often. It's made by OTC and it's called a heavy duty uh, brake drum puller. Even though it says brake drum puller, I find this works best on rotors. It does work on drums also, but it works really great on the rotors, which I'll bring you up front and I'll show you how it works uh, to get these rotors off here. Because as you can see, these are extremely rusty. So we're going we're gonna to go up to the right front and we're going to demonstrate how it works up there. Um, this is the actual tool itself. As you can see, it's adjustable. You can, uh, you can put it on any size rotor or drum up to whatever the maximum distance is. But you can see that that'll, that'll fit just about anything and it's adjustable. Uh, it's actually, it's, it's, it's very heavy duty. Um, the part number is actually called um, 6980. This is the part number right here. All right, um, basically it just goes on the rotor, such as this, goes around it grips the rotor with these pieces right here and here and then this piece here goes into the either the hub bearing or the axle shaft depending if you're doing a front or a rear. Now once you have this put on and you bring the jaws in so that they're tight on the on the rotor, they'll grip the rotor on here and you screw this in, there's a band that comes with it as well. This band goes around the outside and it fits into this area right over here. It goes around the rotor or the drum and then you can tighten it down and you could tighten this piece on to keep the jaws from opening up. To be truthful with you, I use that once. Um, when you put this on there, this thing stays on so good you really don't need that, uh, that uh, band to hold it in place. It just goes around the, the, uh, the rotor, holds it on really tight and this piece here keeps it centered. This piece here keeps it centered in the bearing or in the, uh, the axle shaft in the front. So we, I really don't even use that. Uh, but if you have a rotor that's stuck and you're looking for a good quality tool that's going to last you a lifetime, this is the tool for you. All right, um, that's it. All right, enough bullshit. I mean, enough, enough talking. Let's get up in the front there and uh, let's see how it works. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to take this uh, tool and it actually, these pieces here, these, these jaws, they go on the back of the rotor and this pin here goes in right through the axle right in here. Now what I always do is I put a little bit of grease on this here because it'll actually uh, make it slide a little easier and then we just put it around here. Okay, so you make sure your jaws are connected onto the back of the rotor here and not touching anything else. Your center pin is on the axle itself. Make sure that you took out your screws that retain the rotor in place. And then there's a band that comes with it like this. This band is supposed to go around the outside of the rotor as well as the, um, the tool itself. I used it once or twice, but I really haven't used it that much because you really don't need it, as you're going to see in a minute. All right, so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to put our socket on here, grab our air gun. And we'll keep that thought. Okay, now the only thing I would recommend, because I've had this happen before with this tool here, that this tool works so good, you want to put a nut on here, because when you start to hit this with the air gun, you don't want to have this thing come flying off in your face. off a lot easier than I thought it was gonna yeah, actually. Yeah. Well the rear maybe. Okay. And that's where it gets rusted right inside in the back over here.
some spray here. Give me a shot. Or here, I'll just put There it goes. Alright. Alright, so as you can see with that tool, it, it works really well to get that rotor off. Could you imagine being underneath there with a hammer and trying to pound that thing to get that, that rotor off there? It just wasn't going to come off. Um, if you put that band around it, you see how it popped, the tool popped off? If we had put that band around it, that, that, that uh, strap that goes around it to hold it on, that would have not popped off. But uh, we didn't do it. But if you put that band on there, it wouldn't pop off the way it did. All right, so if you have any questions, you want to talk to me about that tool or, uh, or anything, just send me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.